हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स माई नेम इज़ वीरेंद्र सिंह देवड़ा एंड आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ए आई आर ट्वेंटी फोर इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्राम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी भुवनेश्वर इन ट्वेंटी एटीन फ्राम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच आफ्टर दैट आई वर्कड इन एलेंटी कंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर सेवन मंथ्स एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फुल टाइम फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज इन दिल्ली बाई जॉइनिंग कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट Uh, in 20, 2019, I uh, fully prepared for engineering services and then gave my first attempt in ESC 2020, but I couldn't clear uh, the prelims of my first attempt. After that, uh, uh, due to COVID, there were some delays, so I joined uh, uh, Made Easy Publications as a content developer to sustain my preparation and uh, uh, clear my finances. So I. then continued my preparation for my second attempt in esc 2021 along with job and in my second attempt i have secured air 24 now i'll tell you something about uh, engineering services exam engineering services exam uh, is uh, conducted by upsc uh, for taking uh, the uh, grade a uh, officers uh, for from engineering uh, sections of uh, for government of india there are mainly four branches in engineering services um, civil engineering mechanical engineering electrical engineering and electronics and instrumentation engineering now in all these four branches the rank list will be uh, declared separate that means uh, there will be uh, four uh, air ones now i have secured air 24 in civil engineering branch now i'll uh, tell you about uh, my preparation strategy for uh, different stages of engineering services there are mainly three stages prelims mains and then the personality test for prelims uh, mainly the width of the syllabus is uh, judged so that is why it is the most important to prepare each and every subject of civil engineering so for that aapko सारे सब्जेक्ट्स इवन छोटे छोटे सब्जेक्ट्स जैसे कि टनल इंजीनियरिंग देन रेलवे इंजीनियरिंग एयरपोर्ट इवन हाईवे मेंटेनेंस हाईवे कंस्ट्रक्शन इवन जियोलॉजी रिमोट सेंसिंग यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दीज सब्जेक्ट्स आल्सो नाउ फॉर दीज स्मॉल सब्जेक्ट्स यू यू हैव टू रीड इधर बुकलेट्स फ्रॉम योर लाइक इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैव प्रोवाइडेड बुकलेट्स और यू कैन जस्ट prepare them by used uh, by studying through previous year questions you have to read all the uh, solutions of the previous previous year questions as well to prepare them now that is that is what my uh, strategy has been for these uh, subjects because we prepare all the other main subjects like uh, som structure rcc soil environment we'll prepare them uh, nicely but these small subjects will matter a lot especially in uh, prelims exam so this is for the technical part now for gs part uh, it is very unconventional we cannot judge what will be asked in uh, gs part but we can judge mainly for some subjects like mathematics and aptitude so for uh, i uh, personally Uh, worked a lot in my mathematics and aptitude parts and that that has been the main part of my uh, score of the gs section and after that three four more subjects like quality and environment and uh, project management being a civil engineer project management is also part of my uh, technical part so i prepared these three subjects and two subjects uh, thoroughly and other subjects i just read once from uh, the notes uh, notes provided in classes now this is for uh, prelims and then for mains and you have to remember that during your prelims uh, preparation only you have to prepare short notes because in prelims small small things will be asked in objectives and you have to be wary of each and every concept so and these concepts could be uh, revised again and again by using short notes only you cannot read all your notes many times because there will be uh, the bulk of the notes will be uh, very high the volume of the notes will be very high so you have to make short notes so that you can complete whole civil engineering in 2 3 days just before exam so you have to prepare short notes and 
for short notes especially make the short notes dynamic that is you have to leave blank pages that is what i used to do i used to leave blank pages after each and every chapter so that any new subjects that i am getting i'll uh, add that new concept or new formula in my uh, short note only so that is why uh, that is uh, in that way i'll uh, revise the new concepts also many times then uh, for mains mains is mostly question practice there there are two main parts like numerical part and the theory part for numerical part you have to just practice the previous year questions of engineering services that is sufficient for you know base of the uh, mains then you have to give a uh, test series of at least two uh, coaching institutes in that way uh, you will uh, you know you will develop a mindset to give the exam so when you will make any mistake in uh, test series by like when you are giving you are solving a question in examination mindset then only you will uh, remember it for longer time and like that you will make many mistakes in test series and those mistakes you will remember whenever you are solving any question that these these things these are the points where i can ma make mistakes so in this way your accuracy will increase as well as for speed also you have to solve many questions so uh that is why you have to give more and more tests so that is what i did uh, i gave uh, test series for my prelims and mains for at least two uh, coaching institutes also for the uh, theoretical part of uh, mains uh, the mains uh, theoretical part are mostly from bmc and environment uh, for uh, theoretical part what i used to do is Uh, read the technical uh, uh, read the previous year questions uh, thorough like fully and uh, mark the points that you have to remember in previous year books only and then uh, in test series you will get newer questions for uh, just prepare theory questions of bmc and environment from previous year only and then uh, solve test series uh, during test series you will have to write the questions in that way you will uh, get practice to uh, write uh, theoretical questions also and uh, in uh, in uh, test series they will add newer questions from civil services as well as from uh, ifs indian, indian forest services so in that way newer questions can also be uh, uh prepared like through test series only uh, previous year is the basis of the mains uh, examination and then uh, for for uh, um, uh, by giving test series you can uh, prepare for some newer questions uh, because th the newer questions will be uh, put in test series from uh, uh, civil services and from uh, standard books as well so newer questions will be prepared from uh, civil services exam and even theory theoretical questions could also be prepared from the series only you will write those questions in uh, the series that in that way uh, theoretical questions could also be solved then for personality test uh, the third stage uh, it is having 200 marks but these 200 marks can be uh, very important like in my case my interview score was almost 20 25 25 marks more than the average so that improved my uh, rank a lot so now for preparation of uh, this interview uh, firstly you have to make daf which is the detailed application form so in that form you will give your uh, particulars like where you have studied where you have completed your graduation your schooling and uh, what is your hometown and uh, what what are your extracurricular activities which sports you have played what are your interests what are your achievements you will put everything in that and that is what the chairman of the board will ask now uh, the interview board has four members one will be the chairman uh, which will be part, uh, board member of the uh, upsc and three uh, other members which are mostly uh, technical professors or uh, um i uh, senior uh, engineering services officer so now it is generally uh, like uh, only chairman gives mostly chairman uh, gives you marks so on chairman asks you from 
your dap only so be wary of whatever you are putting in your dap so any place that you have mentioned any school any any sport any uh, project or any achievement you are mentioning there you have to be thorough with all the cross questions that can ask so you prepare all these short notes about every everything that you have uh, every place you read the small history and all the projects that are going for civil engineering projects are very important so uh, do that and then um, and this this is the part of the dab that you have to prepare and for engineering you have already you know read so much that not much have to be done in engineering part that will come to you you know naturally only just uh, read newspaper for at least one and a half month before that and especially the uh, news related to in constructions infrastructure projects and environmental issues like these three are uh, burning issues in which questions are asked even from technical panel also they can ask questions uh, related to any project that is happening to uh, happening around you or in the country so uh, that is how you can you have to prepare for interview and if you have jan, done a job then prepare uh, your job very nicely because that is what was asked mostly from me in even all three members and my chairman uh, all uh, all like all board asked me a lot of, from my uh, work in lnt only so lnt constructions only even when i have worked for just for 6 7 months then also they have scrutinized each and everything that i was telling about my job so uh, prepare your job very nicely uh, this is the main thing for interview now uh, i will share what were my mistakes in uh, my first attempt and uh, what new things that i have done in my second attempt because in first attempt i couldn't even clear prelims uh, by uh, one marks Uh, i was very unfortunate to not clear uh, clear uh, prelims uh, but in my second attempt i have focused more and more on question practice firstly solving the uh, previous year question uh, previous years uh, fully and even for smaller topics i read all the small small things every question every ambiguous questions also i just if i am not able to understand any question i'll just remember it whatever the solution is given i'll just remember it so that is how i did for previous year and after that i gave more and more tests more and more so that i can solve more and more questions and in those tests i will make mistakes i'll note every mistake of me like whatever mistake i am doing i'll note that mistake and just before exam one week before exam in the last week of my exam i'll uh, go through the uh, those uh, mistakes again so to get all these mistakes and all these problems it is important that if you are giving a test of 3 hours then it will take you at least 3 hours more to analyze the test fully the questions that you have done the questions that you couldn't do so even for the question that you have done you uh, in solution you may get a uh, easier way so uh, that is how you can improve and in the questions that you couldn't solve you mark mark those questions and you note those questions and revise those uh, just before exam so that is uh, this uh, this this is the main thing i relied more on question practice and test series that is the main uh, thing uh, main change that i have done and uh, since i prepared mains uh, along with job in my second attempt i had i have given with job so uh, you have to give at least 4 5 hours every day now you have to be disciplined about it because since you are giving uh, your bulk of the time of the day in your job so it is important to give at least 5 hours in uh, to your preparation also because and uh, since you are uh, going to a job so it will be a ref- refreshing and it will give you a refreshing moment also so it won't become monotonous like it generally occurs when you are full time pre- preparing like that is what i have i have seen in my first attempt now in second uh, attempt uh, my preparation was not that monotonous because i uh, used to uh, interact with people in my job so 
and they also used to uh, motivate me so uh, that is how uh, i kept kept myself motivating and uh, they helped me a lot my uh, colleagues uh, uh, in uh, my jobs they have helped me a lot so that is how i uh, mm, prepared for mains and for interview uh, i totally uh, uh, totally you know concentrated on my job and daf because i knew that i have already prepared uh, uh, civil engineering a lot so my technical part was already good i had to prepare this daf and my job again so i prepared uh, for it and i i could score and uh, you have to remember that they they already know that you know technical uh, you have technical knowledge that is how you have cleared the prelims and then mains and you are giving interview so what they have to see is your personality how you react when you don't know the answer how you react when you know the answer you have to be calm and composed in every every way like i in my interview i i'll just share a question that i worked in analytic construction so they asked me how uh, how was your interaction with your client and then i told that ma'am uh, my chairman was uh, ma'am uh, smita nagraj ma'am then i told that ma'am uh, my interaction with uh, client was uh, minimal we generally interacted with uh, a third party uh, consultant technical consultant but interaction with them was not that good because uh, most of the uh, most of the people in technical consultant were not that technically sound so at that point ma'am asked me a cross question that what do you mean they were not technical so technically sound were they not technical uh, people uh, were they not of technical background or what was the issue so at that time i composed myself because uh, this uh, cross question i was not asked uh, i was not uh, expecting DKT Engineering. अगर आप केवल इंजीनियरिंग के वीडियोस देखना चाहते हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करें DKT Engineering. यहाँ आपको इंजीनियरिंग खास तौर पर जेई मेन और जेई एडवांस से जुड़े टॉपर्स के वीडियो अरेंज फॉर्मेट में मिल जाएंगे लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिया गया है एंड देन आई रिप्लाइड दैट मैम मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दैट आई इंटरेक्टेड ऑन डे टू डे बेसिस डेंट हैव दैट मेट गुड टेक्निकल a uh, knowledge related to site because uh, i'll prepare a proposal from lnt construction and then since the technical consultant has to approve it now i'll have to explain my proposal to them like uh, most of the things that i do i'll have to explain it to them also in that way the implementation of the project got delayed many times so that is what the uh, main issue was and uh, Mm, this is uh, all that i have to say uh, the most important thing in your preparation is uh, engin engineering services or any upsc mostly is uh, three staged and it almost takes one year so you have to be uh, consistent in your preparation if you do not give up uh, because i prepared really well for my first uh, first attempt in 2020 but i couldn't clear uh, my first stage also so but after that also i prepared i continued my preparation and uh, because of that uh, not giving like because of that attitude only i have secured uh, this uh, good rank in my second attempt so that is what what i'll tell you like continue uh, continue your preparation if your background is not that strong if you have not prepared well if you are if you don't have that good question uh, problem solving skills then you just continue your preparation it will take time but believe me it will happen